In our previous video, we talked about ZipWP, which is another AI tool, very impressive. But in today's video, I want to give you a first look at Cadence AI, which is another one, which is a, a different way of working. So I want to show you everything in this video. And this is a WordPress plugin, which is not the case of ZipWP. So you just need uh, Cadence Blocks and Cadence Blocks Pro. And right now it's only in beta, so you may, you may not have access yet to this new version, but it's coming in the next few weeks. So let's see how Cadence AI works. We're gonna check everything together, all the different features you should know about. So all you need to do is just to go straight into a page because we need to access the Cadence library, the design library, which was already there before. So this is a design library here. If you click on it, this is completely different from before. So this is all about AI now. So you need to click on the by context tab and you are able to launch the AI uh, process onboarding. So before doing the AI onboarding, of course, you still have this uh, by design tab, which is what we have previously, what we had already in Cadence. So you have all the different patterns. Here you have the patterns and it's uh, sorted by just the type of patterns. So you have the cards, columns, uh, media and text and so on. And by context will be a little bit different because this is not by type, but by context. So uh, it does is the context so testimonials? Is it about the mission of your company, your profile or the team or an FAQ and so on? So uh, this is by context, which is all generated through AI. Uh, which we're gonna do in a minute and by design what you already know and this is the same for pages so you have the pages already uh, there before so this is a wireframe tab so this is by type by type of page home about contact and you have the with context which is still by type of page but in this tab it will be filled with uh, AI generated text or images. So let's go back to patterns and by context and let's see together how the onboarding AI works. So you will be able to generate uh, patterns and pages using a, a, a prompt and more info for the, the AI within Cadence. So I click on next. You can read, of course, I just click on next. And here you can start giving some context and some information for Cadence AI. So who are you? Are you an individual, a company, an organization? So I am, let's say, an individual because I want to generate patterns and pages for a fitness coach. So my name is Fit Revolution and I have an address, of course. I can fill the address and what industry I am in. Well, this is fitness coach. So if I tap coach and fitness, I should be able to, yes, fitness coach here. So you just need to find some industry you feel very close to and the closer you are to what you want to actually do on the website, the better it is because this is just more context for the AI. Okay, so now let's click on next. And as you can see, you can also select online only if you're, for instance, a marketing uh, agency or if you work on a service area, you can select the second option. Uh, so I click on next and then this is where you can put your prompt. Uh, this prompt will be used for all the patterns on the page. So I wrote this or at least ChatGPT did it. <laughs> and you can, as usual, like we have in ZipWP or in Elementor AI, you can enhance the prompt by clicking on this magical button. I don't need to do it. Also, you have the show tips here option which give you uh, some tips if you want to better write a prompt for your whole website so this is enough for me at least for this tutorial and i click on next now i'm gonna have some keywords for the whole context of the website so here are the keywords so you can just select if the keyword suits you you can just select them so fitness coach bodybuilding it's fine for me weight loss uh, online booking maybe be mass building program why not um, athletic performance muscle strengthening in person gym um, customized lesson and maybe one more well just online payments is fine for, for me and about the tone you can select the tone of the website so this is for the text part so do you want to have a neutral tone a so professional one friendly informative so you can select one i go for friendly then I click on next. This is where you're going to have images generated through AI or at least sorted through AI. So you have three different 
uh, approach here. So you can either use AI to show you the different images you can use on your website. So this is the first option here, AI search collections, or you can use your own images or you can use uh, libraries of, of, of images already there. So I can show you first about AI. You can edit here the search query. You have a few keywords that can output these images you can modify if you want then on the collections second option you can use your own images so you can just click here on make my own collection and from here you are able to go grab your own images that will be used throughout all the different patterns and pages so i think it's a very interesting feature or a third option you can just use some of the pre-made collections here so you have agency architecture and you have fitness here. So I can select fitness, for instance, and this is one of the pre-made collections of images so that it can be just faster. For me, I just want to stick with AI search collection. It's fine for me because it's just about making a draft, right? It's not the definitive website, it's just about a draft and some filler images for my patterns. So this is fine for me. If you can edit the collections if you want, and then you can click on generate content. As you can see, it's based on credits. So generate content. And now it's going to generate some contents. Uh, so it's loading some of the category. No, all of them are loading. So you just need to wait a few seconds. Okay, so this is AI generated content, guys. So let's check uh, together what we have. We have uh, titles, text, subtitles, images, all generated through AI. So if you pay attention, you can notice that it's text, it's text actually relevant to what we want to do. So this is about fitness and we have here fitness coaching, bodybuilding program, weight loss guidance, achieve your weight loss goals effectively. And no, 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 it's too small. I can't read, but uh, everything is really by context. So this is all about fitness, all about coaching and it works pretty well doesn't work so well in french i tried uh, we don't have text generated in french right now but in english it works pretty well and you can use any patterns you want everything is by context so you have the images titles and text for the websites you want to build and it's all sorted by call to action testimonials uh, pricing tables and so on of course, it's all related to Cadence theme, so it's linked to uh, the color palette. So you can modify in one place across all your website, the colors, typographies, or for instance, the type of buttons. If you want to have rounded corner buttons or squared ones, you, you can modify everything in your theme and it will impact everything you can see here because it's all related to the Cadence ecosystem, so Cadence blocks theme and now AI. You have also some options here underneath. You have style and you can change the type of a background. And then we can switch to pages and you have the regular pages in the wireframe tab and you have the with contact pages. And here you will have, well, the page filled with text, titles and images. You can also uh, filter the different pages you have here. Just beneath here you have for instance, if you want to have better uh, page with more image, you can select image heavy here, select here and you have pages with more images and you have minimalist content, dance and typographic. If you want to come back to the root settings from what we've done so far, you can click on the wheel here and you have the update cadence AI details and you can come back to the uh, original flow and change anything you want from here. Also, if you click again on the wheel, you can update the library of images. So if you want to modify all the different images that have been used here in your website uh, for the AI part, I mean, uh, you can do so by clicking here. And on the events part, you can, for instance, deselect the custom image selection so that it can be better. For instance, on the wireframe part, you will just have some filler images like here. And I think it's better if you really want to wireframe something to not have any kind of images. So uh, in this context, you would just deselect this option. You have the live preview. So if you don't want to preview the different settings that are uh, into your into your theme, into Caden theme, um, this is for the patterns. So for instance, if we go into some patterns here, I go back to advanced. I deselect and I, then I select. As you can see, you have, when it's not selected, you have the um, typographic settings 
uh, inherited here from the cadence sim if you don't want to have these settings here and if you want to have something very very basic to do a wireframe for instance you can come here and deselect everything. So what do you think so far about the way Cadence AI work? Uh, let me know into the comment section. And also I want to show you uh, one last feature, which is, uh, to my opinion, the best part of Cadence AI so far. If you are into a Cadence block, so by Cadence blocks, I mean the one for text, uh, the advanced text block, you can click here on Cadence AI and it will give you uh, basically ChatGPT within WordPress and this is very cool so you can just make a prompt here and ask about something and then it will output some text and you have some modifiers here so you can make a text shorter longer simplify it or fix the spelling and the grammar you can also change the tone of a text here and we find again friendly informative and so on so i think this part is very very useful and i'm not sure about how to feel about the first part of my video on the cadence ai flow and how it's generating uh, patterns and pages because i can see how it can save us some time but at the same time it's not i i think it's the very beginning i think there is a lot of room for improvement and we can have better um, design opinionated patterns or better choices in terms of I, I don't know I think there is a lot more work to be done here but at the same time there are some features that I really enjoy that I really like and for this feature specifically I really like the way it works very simple but I think it's very useful and to me I think I'm gonna use it maybe almost every day this part just to have ChatGPT within uh, WordPress. So I would love to have your opinion into the comment section. Let me know down below. And if you're not subscribed yet to this channel, do not hesitate and click on the subscribe button. You will have more video about WordPress and AI. And I will talk to you into another WordPress tutorial. Bye.